transfer deadline day has come and gone and Manchester United came through during the 11th hour and made some fantastic signings happen. Of course, I'm talking about Sofian Amrabat, Sergio Reguilon and Altai Bayandir. All three signings were necessary and crucial and we're going to talk about the details and whether the players are going to make it for the crucial match against Arsenal in this video. Let's kick things off by talking about Sofian Amrabat who waited and waited and waited for the Manchester United deal to happen. We definitely should not take his passion to become a Manchester United player for granted. Manchester United will pay 8.5 million pounds to take Sofi and Amrabat on a loan with an option to buy the player for 21.5 million pounds from Fiorentina. Now Fiorentina preferred a permanent deal while United are cautious of complying with financial fair play rules. This of course comes to us from Sky Sports. United's director of football negotiations Matt Hargreaves flew to Italy to complete the deal and the rest as we know is history. The 27 year old has not been training with the Fiorentina first team squad while his future remained unresolved. Now when it comes to his performances, Amrabat is primarily known for his effort to win the ball against Kylian Mbappe in Morocco's World Cup run. Personally speaking, his signing I think is defining for our midfield in a variety of aspects. For one thing, not only is he going to add intensity to win the ball to current Manchester United squad, but also he's a solid progressive passer. He might not be one of the best like De Jong, but he's definitely right up there in the top 10 players statistically speaking. As you are aware, a progressive passer is a midfield Field, sometimes defensive midfield who serves as a link between the defenders and the attacking midfielders and sometimes attackers of a team. Now it's worth noting to say that this element of intensity that we just talked about is something Manchester United players in particular Casemiro have shown to lack and lapses in intensity have led to multiple chances for our opponents so far this season. So here's hope that Sofian Amrabat can be the key to solving that problem considering the performances he has shown during his time in Fiorentina. Now before we move on and talk about other signings smash that like button guys if you're as delighted as i am about sophie and amrabat also consider subscribing to always united for the latest manchester united news next up we have to talk about another last minute signing sergio reguilon manchester united of course have agreed a loan deal to sign tottenham defender sergio reguilon has completed medical tests and he has also had his first training session with the team as well the deal for the spaniard is a straight loan as united look to sign a left back following injuries to luke shaw and tyro malasia Reguilon has not played a single minute for Spurs this season and spent last campaign on loan at Atletico Madrid where he made just 12 appearances. The 26-year-old joined Tottenham in September 2020 from Real Madrid in a £32 million deal and has two years left on his contract. As for Altai Bayandir who has joined Manchester United from Fenerbahce, it can hurt to know that last season he was a key player for Fenerbahce as they won the Turkish Cup and finished second in the Super League. After joining Manchester United for £4.3 million, here's what the player had to say. It is a huge honor to join Manchester United and become the first Turkish player to represent this incredible club. I have a passion for success and I will give everything to help this special group of players to achieve our ambitions. I cannot wait to start working with such an experienced goalkeeping unit. We'll support each other and drive high standards every day so that each of us is ready to perform whenever called upon. Now out of all the three players, Eric Ten Hag has confirmed that Sergio Reguilon and Altai Bayandir are available for Manchester United should we need to take advantages of these players but we will have to wait longer for Sofia and Abramat's debut match. That's it guys with this video on all of our new signings. Share your thoughts with us in the comment section. Which signing do you think will have a positive impact on the team and are you satisfied with them or not? Whatever you think definitely let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much guys for sticking with me until the end of this video. It truly means a lot. Leave a like if you found this video informative. It can really help us with YouTube algorithm and consider subscribing to Always United for latest Manchester United news. Now if you want to hear more news here are two videos that might catch your interest. But until next time, it's been a pleasure serving you.